So it's a crazy day when it comes to Transformers and Bumblebee the movie. I've just got done moments ago reacting to the new trailer and now we've got another one. Yes, Paramount Pictures giving us two for the price of one today, very unexpected, with a third trailer. Now this was broke by TFW2005. I will link to the article in the description box below. But this is a Russian trailer. This was released in Russia, and I expect this will be coming out uh, in English very soon. But for the time being, we're going to react to this because this is fresh and hot off the press. So I've waited quite some time for a trailer, a follow-up to the teaser trailer back in June, and now we've got two. So let's react to this. Will we get more awesomeness from this third trailer? Here we go. Whoa. Oh, what's this? Oh, oh, okay, okay. I like that, I like that. <laughs> nice. Oh, wow. Oh my. Oh, that sound is sick. Oh, here we go. God damn. Seriously. I mean, that was just as epic. Um, not sure about the Russian aspect. It was all in English to me. So I'm not sure where that came from. But wow. Like truly, wow. Even more epicness. And now I'm kind of at that stage where I'm like, I have everything that I need now. I know this film is looking really good. I've seen some action, it looked amazing. I've seen the story as such, getting an understanding of how Shatter and Dropkick have come to Earth to apprehend Bumblebee and take him back to Cybertron. I mean, the voice of Shatter, very cool from Angela Bassett, but the voice of Dropkick sounded tremendously menacing and so did Blitzwing. Unbelievable. And at a point, I think they say, where is Optimus Prime? So I'm interested what that is, because I thought that they'd come from Cybertron. I'm going to watch it. I'm going to watch it once more. Oh, goodness me. So damn good. Let's watch it once more and see what we take from it. But this is the third trailer. And oh, let's do it again. 
Whew. This opening sequence is crazy. That voice, unreal. Sounds so aggressive. And this is when he scans the beetle to get away from the Decepticons, I assume. Kind of telling you that story now. Damn, Paramount saved up on this for us, big time. I like that. That's nice. This is funny as well. Oh. <laughs> this is very cool. Cybertronium War. Here they come. Oh my god, I love that. I love John Cena in this as well. Very good. I love that. That is cool. That last bit as well is pretty funny. I did actually take that bit in that he just transforms straight into the beetle. Um, but that's not going to help. He's in the house. So love that. I love the, the, the comedy aspect. I mean, it's been something I always used to have a problem with, with Michael Bay's films, that the comedy felt, you know, forced. Um, and it wasn't really that funny. But these little, you know, moments are great. And then the mixture... The balance is just perfect and shatter, drop kick and blitzwing. Wow. I mean, I just feel like it does feel like they are from another planet. Like they're not taking on human characteristics. They've come to get Bumblebee. They've come to apprehend Bumblebee and they're on a mission. And that's how it works you know, for a Cybertronian. So it feels different. The voices as well, you know, I uploaded a couple of videos on my channel, you know, talking about or trying to create the voice of Shatter, Dropkick and Blitzwing. You can check them out. Um, they're on my channel in a playlist for Bumblebee the movie. And I think we did get them pretty close to what we've got because they have much more of that robotic tone than we've heard in Michael Bay's movies. So... I'm really happy with all the voices. They sound menacing. They sound like they're from another planet, which they should. And it just, I feel like we've got a great story here as well. And that's something we're not used to getting. And all I've ever wanted from a Transformers film is for it to pay homage to G1, to have a great story and for it to have a connection. All the things that Travis Knight has done. So what do you take away from this third Bumblebee the movie trailer. I kind of feel like this one was more dramatic than the last one. Although I think we kind of had more shots on Cybertron in the last trailer. The whole dialogue and interaction of Shatter, Dropkick and Blitzwing really made it much more intense. Because you kind of had the understanding of where the Decepticons are coming from. So I absolutely loved that. Um, yeah, I'm blown away, 
absolutely have loved um, both trailers we've seen today. And now I feel like I'm satisfied, I'm ready for December for this movie to be released. Um, I don't want to see any more. I don't want to see any more um, TV spots because I, I feel like too much could, you know, take away from the movie now. This has been perfect. Best marketing ever for a Transformers film. They've done it spot on. Keep it that way. And let's roll on December. We've got loads to talk about on the channel when it comes to Bumblebee the movie. What did you think? Let me know in the comments section below. Two for the price of one from Paramount Pictures. Very good job. Whew. Great day. All that's left to be said is please rate, comment, and subscribe. Don't run. She run. This is Delzinski. Signing out.